Hello everyone. Today we will uh, go for uh, the next experiment that is square wave generation using timer. In PIC 16F, 877A, we already know that we have uh, three timers out of uh, that we can take any one or two today. So these things already explained in the classroom. Uh, in the regular classes, you can uh, able to see the discussion in uh, U2L2 material and you can able to take the program from the same. The calculation behind it is already explained. So I am just now demonstrating how to do it using MPLAB and Proteus. Let's go ahead and do it. Go to project wizard. Make sure that you have pick 16F877A device selected and say next. Create new project. So you are in the main folder and for each and every project I asked you to uh, create a new folder. So I am creating new folder say for uh, square wave. It's, it's about uh, generating delay uh, using timer. Square wave is simply uh, most of the time things are not uh, used. So we just want to generate delay. Just to verify it in a, in a proper way, we wanted a square wave application. Anything can be, uh, application can be any other thing, okay. And the next thing, I have to give the project name, that is square wave generation. You can give any other meaningful name, say next. If at all, if you have program already, uh, you can take the program or uh, you simply follow and type the program. Here, just open, open the template. Program files, microchip, MPSM suit, template, code, yeah, you type, you don't have to search, pick 16F877A temp, which, we, which is in the name of 16F877A temp, open it, immediately you save it, don't edit anything here, and I have to go back to project directory, which is here. Uh, okay, so give different name. Uh, in this, uh, I have a program already, so I am going to paste it here. So you have to paste it here. However, um, What I do, uh, I simply paste everything. So you have to type this code. This code has been explained already. This code has been explained already. So you can pause for a moment and then you can uh, uh, type it. Some of the unwanted things that uh, have been taken out, for example, bank cells. We found that they are in the same bank, so I just uh, comment this thing. So this value uh, we have calculated from the calculation we got this. Uh, here, we got this calculation. And then, uh, instead of B2, uh, it is B3 here, you can make B2 or uh, B3. Uh, okay. B2 here, so I'll make it B2. Save it. Add it to your main project. Build it. Okay, 
your project is ready. Now how to see this, how to debug it, I am going to show you now. Go to debugger, select a tool. There are two ways to debug it. Either you can do it uh, this way, that is first one using inbuilt debugger of MPLAB. The second one is uh, make use of uh, Proteus software and oscilloscope within the Proteus software and you can able to verify whether you are going to get a 2 kilohertz square wave or not. Let's do the first way. Here if I run it, you where you would like to see the square wave, it is very difficult. So for that, uh, go to view and go to simulate logic analyzer. So I have taken logic analyzer now. Now I have to add a channels. The uh, square wave sent to port D, any pin of the port D, you can take it up and say add it. Now it is RD0 which is selected there and then uh, you simply run it for a moment and stop it there your square wave okay and how to cross verify it is already explained in the class and even in the class video but one more time I am showing you so first of all I am going to zoom it for a particular uh, section and then go for I'll zoom further go for one complete wave and we have to select it appropriately now it is around 1253 cycles 1253 machine cycles the back calculation already I have shown here here I got 1251 earlier, you can make it 1253. So instead of this, you are going to get nearly 0.5 uh, millisecond. So uh, uh, this is the peripheral clock that is F oscillator by 4, which is equal to 0.4 microsecond in period. Total delay in terms of machine cycle, we got 1253 now into 0.4 microsecond. Somewhere you are going to get nearly 0.5. Millisecond. This is how we can verify. First way. The second way is do it in uh, Proteus. So let's go to Proteus and uh, do the simulation. Go to part. Go for pick 16F 877A as it is. Say OK, add it, I don't need anything. Edit properties, make it 10 megahertz and browse. Browse your program file. Where you save the program, you just go there and browse it. So this is the program. Say OK. And I want to see it on uh, oscilloscope so I just uh, take some uh, moment so here is the oscilloscope and click it here RD0 is connected so I'll take uh, RD0 you can take RD1 RD2 till anyone and this must work if you start it you should be able to see the square wave here and if you would like to measure it, you enlarge it, say till 0 0.1 and uh, here make it 1. The other channels I am going to switch, simply make it off so that you can able to see only one. And here is this square wave and we, wa we wanted to measure it how much it is you can able to see from this point to this point you simply calculate 1 2 3 4 and 5 so one complete cycle is of 5 minutes multiplied by 0 0.1 millisecond okay it is in millisecond so 5 
into 0.1 millisecond it is going to be 0.5 millisecond 0.5 millisecond 1 by 0.5 millisecond will be 2 kilohertz so, so it is nearly generating 2 kilohertz square wave so this is how you can able to verify same thing you can do it using uh, timer one uh, for example if you would like to do it using timer one uh, you take up a uh, timer one program uh, I'll just uh, remove it and add I have a timer one program already so I'll just close this add files so you uh, if you would like to do it separately you can take up new project and do for timer one so anyone will be okay uh, then uh, I'll go for timer one which I have already demonstrated and uh, I'll, I'm going to build it and run it again so uh, if I would like to measure it the program will be completely different if you wish you can pause for a moment it is going to be very small compared to timer zero program it is very small uh, if you uh, wish to go for this you can uh, obviously you can go for this so it is very small program using timer one so that and this completely different so don't change here say uh, t0 timer zero or something so it is completely different and uh, we can able to get the same thing using this if I zoom it a little bit okay, I'll take up one cycle and I would like to measure it now I want 1251 nearly uh, say this is one cycle So somewhere we are getting in the same range. Okay, so 1276. If you wish, you can able to measure again, and nearly we may get the same thing in 0.5 millisecond. And if I run it now. I should be able to get nearly same but it is little more uh, I have to check the program what value we got I think uh, FD8E uh, the same value we got so it is nearly uh, 2 kilohertz we don't have to worry about a small fraction if you would like you can able to do it manually because many other things are there in the program because while loading and all other delays will be added and since we are using uh, uh, what you call a polling method to generate square wave it is obviously a uh, little inaccuracy uh, will be there so you can use uh, interrupt technique to generate accurate square wave or accurate delay in fact so this is how we can able to do it so this is using timer one and uh, today we seen uh, both using timer 1 and timer 0 hope uh, you got uh, you followed uh, this thank you